The more I think about it, my initial thought was there seemed to be some kind of a tension mm. between the constitutionally guaranteed rights of citizens to assemble, to demonstrate, to protest, and how you administratively implement the Public Order Act. Um, I, you know, lawyer Kweku Pencil, the other day I was on a show with him where he gave a lot more education on how the Public Order Act is supposed to be operationalized. Mm. I've always wondered what it means by you would inform the police. It, it, it appears to me that that phrase inform is operationalized as you need the police's approval mm. to be able to do that, mm. right? So, um, you know, you, you, you inform, but some way, somehow, the police can either you know, deny or say wait or hold on or make some changes. And okay. ordinarily, it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be a matter of contention if I want to go through this route and in working collaboratively with the police, they may suggest one or two alternative routes. But there seem to be this constant tension between the Constitution and the Public Order Act and how you operationalize those two things in such a way that you can bring all of it uh, um, uh, into uh, into harmony. And the, I think the, that's... Yes, the, 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 the Public Order Act talks about um, informing the police or notifying the police. Mm -hmm. I think that is for good reason, because yes. the police must know what's happening so that they can protect you, they can offer protection. Mm -hmm. And whilst you're demonstrating, there are others who also be going about their business. Right. And they should also not be disrupted too much because of your demonstration. And the police must not be taken by surprise. That is the, uh, in my view, that's what the law intended to, to, to do. But is it not because there's mistrust between the two sides that is causing this tension you talk about? Because the, the, the Constitution is clear on the rights, Article 21D, to, to, to demonstrate, you know, process, etc. Public Order Act, I'm not sure, has a lot of confusion in there. It's also clear on what to do. So if the two sides disagree, they are not able to come to you know, an agreement on what to do, you go to court. Mm -hmm. So the police will have to go to court. Is it not because of the mistrust that we don't see the, pe the two sides agreeing? So for example, I want to demonstrate, I want to go this way, but the police will come up and say, and most often is a, is a case, that you can't go here, you can't do that because this side is a security zone, etc. Is it not mistrust? And at what point do we draw the line really? Um, and I, I, I believe that mistrust plays a, a, a big role in that. Uh, ordinarily, it shouldn't be an issue, right? Um, if, you know, you get together with the police and the police says, you know, maybe in these particular areas, if you were to go through there, it may be either disruptive or, you know, there could be good reasons why you can accept certain alternatives. But it takes a lot of trust and mm -hmm. it takes a lot of honest conversation. I, I, I start to think that when, for example, uh, a group has notified you of the intention to demonstrate and almost a month goes by and the night before the demonstration is when you seek to injunct that action, right? Even if it is well intended, the appearance of it um, smacks of an attempt to, I, to undermine or stop a legitimate action by citizens mm -hmm. and it is those things that continue to fuel that mistrust and therefore you tend to the courts